This is that royal engagement when Charles told the Sussexes about royal protocol and they did as they pleased anyway. You'll be surprised of all the body language clues hidden in this clip. Welcome back, my body language buddies. My name is Jesus Enrique Rosas. I'm the body language guy, and it would be great if you join us by just liking this video, subscribing, and hitting that bell. Let's get down to it. They were about to enter a room where only senior royal members could be at any given moment, and after they left that room, then any other working royal could enter. So, in this case, the ones that could enter the room were Her Majesty the Queen, Prince Charles, the Duchess of Cornwall, and the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge. You might think that by this moment, at least Harry would understand royal protocol. After all, he was born into it. Meghan, on the other hand, claims that she was not aware of many rules about the job, and she has no clue how Google works. But let's take a look at this clip. We can see Charles going right up to Harry and the wife to chat a bit before going in. He even leans in a bit to get closer to them. By the way, I really did not get Harry's gesture about go ahead. I mean, was there any other option than the actual senior royals going in? But well, let's cut Harry some slack this time and assume that he was just being polite. But the fact is that Charles did not stop to have a chat with the Harkles. He just could not go in before the Queen. He was just following protocol, stopping for a few seconds and chatting. It's very easy to spot that only when Her Majesty is already ahead of the group and into the room, then that's when Charles moves. It's important to notice these clues because royal etiquette often conditions the timing of certain body language clues. So it's not that Charles stopped because he was being friendly, but more because he had to stop. Anyway, he begins to walk into the room and Harry was telling him something. It's a bit hard to spot because the video quality is not that good, but Charles turns around to respond. And that's when this happens. It was Meghan who broke protocol first, because when you zoom in at their feet, Harry had no intention of moving at all. We can imagine that he's used to this kind of engagements for so many years, so he's aware of how to behave. So it's Meghan who makes the first step. Immediately that Meghan begins to move towards the room, Harry does the same. He should have told her at that moment that they had to stand back, but he didn't. That's when Charles notices that the wife means business and she's going in with them. In fact, Charles goes as far as to stop for a split second to signal, in this case Meghan, that they should stand where they are. They just have to follow royal protocol. Charles tries to be polite, there's no way to confirm that he actually said stand back like so many claim, but he displays one body language gesture that you cannot go wrong with. He makes a very subtle signal with his index finger, making it clear that they had to stay there. Take a good look at this image. Harry knew that this was wrong because he hesitated. He's almost two steps behind Meghan, playing with his ring. He doesn't say anything. He doesn't dare to say anything. I guess he didn't want to sleep in the royal couch again. Charles cannot stay much longer because that's the instant when the Queen begins to talk to him, addressing what's in the room. So he must have said, so be it. What's another blunder for these guys? And then he goes in. Now let's put the royal protocol issue to one side for a second and let's compare the attitude of the Sussexes versus the Cambridges. William and Catherine enter side by side. In fact, she's a half a step ahead of William, talking to Camilla. But what I want to point out is they went in together. This is important. When you focus your attention on Meghan, you can see that she did not pay attention to Harry at all. She began walking, looking straight into Charles' face, and she did not stop or turn around, not even to confirm that Harry was walking behind her. She just didn't care. And I understand that learning so many rules and protocol could be a challenge for anyone, but Megan's prior job was memorizing scripts, so we know this was not a memory issue and more of an attitude issue. Because Charles was telling her explicitly that she had to stay there. Megan was almost going in first ahead of the Cambridges again, not paying attention at all about her husband. Well, to be fair, the Cambridges were not paying much attention to her either more or less trying to avoid eye contact. Now, this is interesting and sad at the same time. There's a moment when Meghan turns around, but it's not precisely to confirm that Harry is behind her. 
she turns her head almost on his direction, but her eyes are fixed on Catherine. At first I thought it wasn't William, but her line of sight is not that high up. But well, they go in either way, and Charles is not amused at all. But just a few seconds in, and these two gentlemen rush to tell them that they, well, mess it up, and they had to stay in the previous room. Harry tries to negotiate with them, but he knows that he is in the wrong, and that's why he uses just one hand to talk. His left hand remains stiff. You can try it. Try to speak using just one hand to emphasize your point, and you'll notice that you're going to feel really uncomfortable. And that's exactly how Harry felt at that moment. Now, what happens next is really funny. William knows that they mess up and he turns around to take a look at them. When he turns to the camera again, his face is almost an exact reproduction of the office meme. Because William knows that Harry is well aware of how this works, so the only reason they went inside is because Harry did not have the spine to tell his wife no. Well, I'm sure that William was already aware of who they were dealing with, so no big surprises. But then he does this. He realizes that the camera is recording the blunder, so he decides to get in the way, with a full step to his left, trying to cover up for his brother. The only thing is that he forgot Megan's uncanny ability to find the best angle to look straight into the camera. Megan always finds a way. But well, the Harkles are escorted to the other side of the room to have another attempt at royal etiquette. It's also interesting to mention that both the Queen, Camilla and Kate, none of them acknowledge the presence of Meghan or Harry at any point. This is not to say that they are cold or anything, it just means that this is a formal engagement with formal rules that need to be followed. I guess that it was too hard to grasp for the Montecito rising stars. And that must be the reason why Megan, minutes after, had a sudden attack of rapid blinking. You can imagine what this situation did to her ego, caught on camera, ready to drop into the internet. Maybe she did it on purpose so she could have another victim card to play later. This scene is so fascinating because it speaks volumes about their different personalities without having to hear a single word. And I've mentioned it other times. If there are rules to follow, most of the time it's easier to follow them and focus on what do you have actual power over. Yes, rules are meant to be broken, I know, but wisdom is knowing which rules can be broken and under which conditions. And breaking general rules of protocol at royal engagements is something that doesn't lead to anything, besides making a fool of yourself in front of millions. Megan was an actress, and filming TV shows required a lot of rules. Do you think she dared to break them like this? Let me know what you think in the comments. If you want to refine your observation skills, all you have to do is download my 100 battle language tips right in the description of this video. My name is Jesus Enrique Rosas, and it will always be a pleasure, my battle language buddies. Much love and bliss.